What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to part two of the episode. My name is Blaze, and the reaction for PlayStation 5. I talked in my last video about uh, some of the games that were in the first half of, of the PlayStation uh, 5 reveal and uh, the future of gaming. And, and uh, from I have not watched anything. I'm literally recording this like seconds after ending the last video. Cued it up to where we were on uh, the live presentation. So we're going to see the rest of this. And uh, I'm excited to see what else is there. I know they revealed the console as well. I have not seen that yet. Well, I caught a glimpse of it while I was looking for this video so I can so I can react to it. But um, we've already seen the controller. We saw Ratchet and Clank, Sackboy. Uh, we saw Gran Turismo. Uh, Kena looks pretty awesome. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man, I think, looks wonderfully amazing. And uh, we're going to see the rest of the uh, games showcase they have here and any other hardware information they're going to talk about or revealing the hardware, whatever, whatever else they have in store. And we're going to do that right now. So let me go ahead and change scenes here. Uh, and thanks for watching the video, guys. Thanks for coming by. Hit like and subscribe. I normally cover Nintendo content on this channel, but I like to check in with PlayStation and Microsoft to see what kind of kind of what they have up their sleeves or what kinds of things they're working on. And uh, from my last video, I'm already pretty impressed with PlayStation 5. And I didn't really know what to expect, but I'm kind of like, this is pretty legit. Uh, so let's go ahead and, and finish up the video and see uh, what else they have to say. I did not expect this. What is it? You ever feel like you're just waiting for a sign? All the time. To do that thing you've always meant to do. Sometimes I feel like I'm just standing on the edge of doing great things. I feel, I feel that way, like, every day, actually. But something's holding me back. Maybe it's just nerves. Maybe it's the fear that I'll never be as good as what I imagine when I'm still just standing on the edge. But if we've got nothing else to lose, might as well jump. This could be a really cool story, I think. The graphics look really cool because I feel like they, they look they look a lot like a uh, like an actual cartoon. Like the cell shaded it seems like it's been taken to a whole new level. Um, maybe we've seen it before, maybe not, but I think that looks really cool. I'm not sure what, I'm not sure how the gameplay goes, but it looks pretty cool as far as the story goes. I never played the Odd World games, but this they this looks cool. Trusted, followed, and it led them here. You may have escaped the murderous blades, but the fate of your entire people is up to you. Of course, it is. It looks, it looks kind of cool. I feel like this this is gonna be a pretty big adventure and a, a really great story. I I don't I've never played these games. They never really looked appealing to me, but I know there's a huge fan base for these types of games, and the story does look good. So I will say, looks cool. So this looks really cool already. You see things others can't. Hear threats others don't. Mm. 
and also very creepy. <laughs> Fight when others won't. It's up to you to save Tokyo. Whoa. <laughs> the fighting looks really weird, but it looks cool. It looks fun. It looks like a very, like, it, it looks really, really cool. And I think there's going to be a huge following of, of people who love that game once it finally comes out. It looks like it's going to be a hit. A sleeper hit. One that gets a huge following. You know, I do want to say one thing before, before we go uh, any further. I do want to say that one thing I really, really, really appreciate about this presentation is that it's not like a live E3 presentation on stage. And the reason I think that's great is because there's not these fools just sitting in the audience yelling stuff out, interrupting the presentation. I think that's cool. You can enjoy it as you want to. And I think for some, in some ways, that's much better. Um, last year, there was a lot of people yelling stuff out at E3 and it, it kind of got on my nerves. But, you know, I'm, I'm really glad that this presentation is not being interrupted by by people who want, you know, you know, to, to get their 15 seconds of fame or whatever. So anyway, I, that's a side note. I just wanted to say that. Let's move on. interesting super brothers this game hasn't ca hasn't ca captivated me yet i'm kind of i'm like what's going on Haunted by oblivion, propelled by dreams. For having this kind of technology in the sky, it seems like they're very, they're not very advanced for a civilization that has technology like this. Unless this is something, unless it's something I'm not really thinking of. Is this a time travel game? I don't... Like, what's going on? I'm not a big fan of games that have presentations like this. Or, I should say, I'm not a fan of presentations where you have no idea what's going on. And I, I do not have any idea what's going on. Jet the far shore. That tells me nothing. So now, now I have to go look it up if I want to know more about it, and I don't think that I will. So I think that your trailer needed to have a little bit more substance. Hmm. Gearbox? This looks cool. Make way for the king of kings for a long stretch, no limousine. If you talk on when it's gotta intervene, I'm the biggest one of those you ever seen. I'ma need a crown. I'm the only one that ever held it down at the tip top. People flip flop every day, not I top five. I'm I don't know, I feel like it almost looks like a PS4 game. Look at me now. 
held me down. So give me the, give me the crown. Make way for the pain. Godfall. I think I've heard some things about that. I, I have to be honest though, I don't think that I saw anything in that trailer that made me think, wow, this can't be done on PS4. This looks very interesting. I think that the stylized visuals make it stand out. Whoa. It's like a hallucination or something. Kind of the same with this game. I don't see anything that... Well, okay, that's kind of cool. That, that The landscape is pretty cool, and I think this is the game they showed off initially where you can actually fly down and, and like, see all of that stuff, like, seamlessly. I, I think that's what that's what they showed off in the, in the tech demo earlier. It was always gonna end like this. This is either a splinter cell or all your hard work, all your sacrifice. Probably not splinter cell. Only sped up the process. Hitman, maybe? I don't know. No, it's not. It's something totally different. You find yourself alone. Only death awaits. Hitman, I was right. <laughs> On one of my two guesses, I was totally right. That looks pretty cool, though. I've heard good things about Hitman. I'm so proud to be here to present a little glimpse of the gameplay where Agent 47 is on top of the world in Dubai. Enjoy. He winked at me twice. I didn't say it. I didn't like it. Just saying. Yeah, that looks cool. Like, as someone who's probably never going to get to go to Dubai, that looks really cool. Is this that slidey? No, I was thinking of something else. This is interesting. There's a lot of platformers coming out for the PlayStation 5, which I think there's kind of a, a need for it. There's there's been a lot of there's been a lack of them lately. And I think with with having a, a console that can have, you know, games on a, a larger scale, that I think that would make for much better platformers, so we'll see. That looked interesting though. It's worth a second look, I think. <laughs> what? 
His face looks weird. I am a fan of like graphics like this, the stylization where they they have a certain theme or or a certain like color scheme or a certain chiseled look to their to the character models and stuff. I think this is cool. Just the visuals alone. Whoa. <laughs> He's surfing. Is this... Wait. Those weren't minions, were they? Cool. Um, <laughs> looks like the kid ran away from home, maybe, and he's on an adventure. <laughs> oh, God. This looks pretty cool, though. Little devil inside. Huh. I'll say it looks like it's worth trying. It looks cool. Actual PlayStation pre alpha NBA 2K21 footage. Trying to bring you down, but for real, you might Dang. as well give up now. Think you got a chance, but I don't see how. Got a real tight grip when I hold that crown. I'm the first one in and the last one out. Whoever owns the place gotta drag me out. If the sweat is actually on the players like that, that's crazy. I don't feel like I heard when the PlayStation 5 was coming out, but I think it's got to be this year, right? A lot of games are coming out this year. Strawberry. <laughs> it's so cute. Amazing, aren't they? Half bug, half snack. <laughs> A very recently discovered species, entirely unique to this island. Oh, this one's lively. Beautiful seed patterns. <laughs> mm. Oh, and it's tasty too. Welcome to the island of bug snacks. What? It's kind of cool. It's extremely unique. But I think it might be a little bit like Animal Crossing or Harvest Moon, something like that. I may not be right about that, but. My invitation is open. Come join me on the island of Bucks. Liz! I, um, I was trying to carry a lamp with my weenie hands, but I dropped it, and uh, now the town's on fire. Oh, <laughs> again? It's bug snacks. Bug snacks. All right, it, it looks cool. It's a good trailer, because at least I kind of have an idea of what it might be about. 
even though I technically have no idea what it's about. Oh, monsters. Yikes. Be rude to change to something else. What is this? This is actual gameplay? <laughs> what? What is this? This is an open world adventure. Holy crap. It looks like that's what it is. It looks like this might be like a Zelda type game. Or like Shadow of the Colossus or something. Holy crap. Demon Soul. Demon's Souls. I wonder if that's Dark Souls. Either way, it looks freaking amazing. Holy crap. making this easy this looks kind of cool actually there's a lot of detail in the streets and just kind of in the lighting and all over really oh, gosh just disappear Jesus. The guns are kind of cool. They, they're like different. It's Bethesda. Good morning, Black Reef. Another day, another death. Our time loops fun. For everyone else on this island, this place is paradise. A never-ending party. Where hunting me is the main attraction. And no matter how <laughs> I try to escape, they always cut me down. But I'm one stubborn motherfucker. I like this. This is so cool. A little more, piecing together the puzzle. There's eight targets, and they all gotta die before midnight. There's just one little snag. You thought it was going to be easy? Juliana Blake, Black Reef's protector, and a real pain in my ass. She may kill me a million times. But eventually, inevitably, I will break this fucking loop. That looks really cool. I like I like the story too. I mean, it's the second game we've seen so far with it with a time loop kind of a uh, theme to it, but I think it's pretty cool still. <laughs> I, I I like that game. I have to say, I'm digging that. I don't like watching you die. I like killing you. 
was a difference. Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to the fairies for her father. It was hard. This looks real. The with a dark, cold silence. The bush is empty. We have determined to find the bear. This looks real. The broke free of Mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine, under branch. And into the forest we go. What is it with that creepy story? It's just a local tale. You're really into that stuff? Quit being so paranoid. No, no! Friendly! Friendly! Who are you? Who sent you? What are you? They're coming. Who is? So that guy survived there for so long until you show up and get him killed. Congratulations. This looks creepy as hell. But really cool. This isn't... It's not... Okay. It's a village. I thought... For a second, I thought maybe it was going to be... Ah, it was! You faked me out! You son of a bee sting! Okay, that looks cool. So, <laughs> I I was thinking like I, I don't I can't prove it now, but I was thinking that's gonna be Resident Evil Seven, um, the whole time. Once it got to the guy screaming, I was like, that's definitely Resident Evil. He's a space man. I've seen this somewhere before, that technology or that thing that he's doing. I can't remember where I saw it. What was he reaching for? That was a very convenient weapon or a defensive thing that he had. Very strange. I want to know more about what's going on there. It's weird.
freedom. Our freedom. I think it's, I think it's dead space. It wasn't stated though, so I don't know. Looks like dead space. Has a very, a theme of dead space. level of detail in these in these trailers is so cool cities. turned to graves in their place came new life Okay, I saw this at E3, I think, last year. I must find a way to stop it. it looks cool. Or will get worse and worse. It's a toidle. Very cool. This mission is mine alone. If I falter, if I fail, there won't be anyone left to stop what's coming. Dude, the graphics on this look so good, and the environments look so amazing. I didn't know what to think at E3 last year, but that looks so cool. It's incredible. But whatever comes. Dude, that looks, that looks dope. Like, that looks, looks so cool. I, I do think there's going to be a lot of, of powerful leaps in technology for the next generation. I think that's that's a given. I think that there's, there's definitely a lot to this, a lot more than I thought there would be in another generation. I'm actually very excited to see the games that, like, Horizon looks great, but... The games that we haven't seen yet because they haven't even been, you know, released yet. Those are the ones. Or the games that just started development today, those are the ones I think are going to be amazing. But even these are pretty freaking cool. Whoa. Whoa, dude, that's it. That looks sleek as hell, dude. I I remember seeing like the white the white console. I remember seeing like the the, the sleekness like up until I didn't see the blue streaks on the and the sides and the wings and the fins, dude. That looks so good. I mean, it's basically a computer. That looks awesome.
Alright. Alright, marketing team. Alright, design team. Alright, engineering team. That looks that looks dope, dude. Holy crap. Like the, the Xbox Series X or whatever looks like a freaking refrigerator. This thing looks like a an alienware PC almost. But it is a PC. I mean, let's just let's just be honest. Like consoles are just PCs that you plug into the TV. They're just designed for a specific purpose. Oh, there's two of them. <laughs> oh, okay, I see what they did. Digital edition and regular edition. Huh. They give you the option at least, which is nice, because I think... I don't think anybody wants to be forced to download everything if you're not ready for that. That looks good, man. The charging stations look awesome, the headset's good. Dude. <laughs> we hope you've enjoyed the first glimpse of our future today. You've seen our most striking console design yet, and you've seen games that can only be enjoyed with the full range of PlayStation 5's features and power. At PlayStation, we believe in generational transitions, and we've put years of work into making them happen. We want you to enjoy the unique benefits of moving from one generation to the next. Thank you for joining us. We're launching later this year, and we have tons more to share. Welcome to PlayStation 5. Whew. Dude, so launching later this year, uh, probably around the fall, they haven't set a date yet, but wow. You know what? They they really did blow they they blew me away on this. That's so cool. I mean, I gotta say, like I, I'm I'm extremely impressed with with the next generation PlayStation Five. Like that's whew. I'm liking the design of the console. I think I think the console design looks so dope. Okay, so I guess that was the presentation. That's uh, wow. I have to say. I am a lot more impressed with the PlayStation 5 than I thought that I would be after um, after what, what I thought was going to, going to be E3. Uh, we didn't really have an E3 this year, and, and this video, uh, this presentation came out. Um, it was supposed to come out last week. They pushed it back to this week, which would have been the week of E3 anyway. Um, I have to say, like, I, I am, wow, I'm very impressed. I mean, there's so many great games. The level of detail, level of immersion, the level of like just seamless transitioning between between different environments is going to be amazing. Uh, Horizon was probably the biggest highlight. I think that was one of the coolest games they showed off. Um, as far as the scale and and the, the the grandiose size of the game, that's that's just going to be incredible. Um, I'm very excited to see the, the final reviews on that game and to see where it where it goes. The story seems interesting. I think that's going to be an interesting. Uh, story and uh, I think that just visually it looks stunning so and I think it looks like it's going to be a lot more akin to like Breath of the Wild but you're not going to see any like low res graphics or low res um, like textures on buildings it's going to be just open like super open and you won't notice any graphical errors is, is what I'm thinking is is the future um, and probably even a bigger world than Breath of the Wild so you know I, I hate to compare the games to Nintendo, but just to kind of give you an idea of what it might be like, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, the Resident Evil 7, that looked awesome. Um, I, I kind of got out of Resident Evil after Resident Evil 4. I kind of stopped like paying attention to it, but I mean, visually it looks amazing. All the, uh, all of the like le the level of detail in that game was, was what really got me is like just seeing all the knickknacks and, and just, junk just lying around was just very very cool uh being able to render all those objects i'm not sure if those if those objects are real they'll, they'll fall off or anything like that but that was just so cool uh dead space looked pretty cool i, I think that was dead space uh the space man in the city i think that was dead space i don't really know for now I'm just gonna call it that uh you know don't uh don't be mad at i'm wrong just trying to keep it simple but yeah i think that game looked pretty awesome too um 
And then Demon Souls looked pretty cool. Uh, there was a couple games they showed off that didn't really look like they were PS5 games. And that's okay. You're, you're going to have that with launch games. I don't think that it's necessarily something to be super upset about. But there were a couple moments where I was like, mm, I don't know about that one. But for the most part, everything they showed off was was just insane. NBA 2K21 looked phenomenal. Um, if if the, the level of sweat and detail on the one character that we saw is present in all the characters in the game at the same time, like, it's going to be incredible. Like, it's going to be so cool. So, I don't know, man. I, I have to say, like, I, I'm much more impressed than I thought that I would be. And I, I told myself, I like, last generation, I told myself I was only going to get one console, whatever Nintendo console came out. And I got all of them. I wanted to kind of try to hold myself back for this generation, but I may not be able to. I might have to get a PS5. I think that just looks so cool. Uh, look at the console just, just there on the screen. That looks amazing. You, you can't really, like I'm looking at my, my stream here. I can't really even see it because because of the white on white. But I think when I take it into the editing booth, it'll look, it'll look better. But I think that just looks cool. And I love, I love the, the blue streaks on either side. I like that they're giving you the option of digital or, you know, disc-based media. I think that's cool too. I don't know if I, if I think, I don't think disc-based, ah, uh, maybe, I, I don't know. I, I don't know if I, yeah, I guess disc, discs are probably the cheapest way to go. Um, Nintendo used cartridges again, which are more like memory cards, but at the same time it, it works. So I'm going to scroll through here and see if there's anything I missed uh, in the last uh, things. Like this game looked pretty cool too. Um, actually, this might have been Horizon, I think. Yeah, that was. I think that was Horizon. Yeah, so Horizon looked awesome. Um, trying to find a couple of games. This game looked pretty cool. Uh, it it looked it looked weird. It looked like a a, a Zelda type game where you are, um, you ran away from home and you're just ex exploring this dangerous world, and your father or guardian doesn't really care that you're gone. Hmm. I don't know, but it looks cool. It looks really cool. Uh, Little Devil Inside. That's the one I was thinking of. Um, Hitman. Hitman Three looks awesome. Um, got this game looked weird. God, God something. Godfall looked weird. Um, this game. I don't even know what was going on in this game, so I can't. I can't comment on that one. Um. But overall, I'm very impressed. And I know this video has already been kind of long and I've, I've made some cuts here and there, but I want to make sure that I uh, talked about it at least. And uh, yeah, wow. So anyway, I do want to end the video there. So thank you everybody for coming by and being a part of the uh, video today. Thanks for watching. Um, I do content on Nintendo on a regular basis. So definitely stop by if you're a Nintendo fan or just a gaming fan in general. And, uh, you know, I'll be back with more content very soon. And I do Twitch uh, streaming every, um, well, as, as often as I can. So check out my Twitch channel too. But anyway, thanks again. Have a great day, guys. My name is Blaze, and I'll catch you on the flippity flip.